we're at episode 9 of spiritual warfare and we're talking about the bible today so i have been using the daily audio bible app and this is the second round of me listening to the bible last year in may i started i read the entire bible this year i did the same thing i started from january i did i'm not gonna be hypocritical and tell you i've listened i have missed a few days at one point i think i was missing like two months because again a life happens and like i have learned even this year you actually have to make time for god consciously because the life is going to keep punching you life is gonna keep saying you have to do this you have to do this your job so there's my job there's all the extracurricular things i do there's repairs there's my boyfriend there's my family there's so much things happening and then you recognize two days pass and you don't listen three days pass and you don't listen because you're so consumed with the world so i have been very conscious especially in the end of the year because i recognize the year is gonna end and i'm actually not gonna finish the bible so like from september coming down i have been more conscious of actually making time to listen so in the mornings when i get up and i'm doing the porridge for javis at that point i listen to a sermon i also have been using my drive so when i'm driving to school i listen to a sermon i listen to an episode i'm encouraging you to download the daily audio bible app that app makes sense in life you can listen to brian read the bible and what is happening with the daily audio bible section they're reading a portion of the new testament a portion of the old testament psalms and proverbs i i'm excited about next year because i'm not going to be doing that section i'm going to be doing chronological where we go through the bible in chronological order from reading the bible i recognize there's a difference between reading the bible and studying the bible because you read the bible but there's something you have to read 10 times you know but because you want to get through the bible in a year you don't have the luxury of going over but i think as time progresses and you keep doing it it's gonna work out but the bible i saw from my car just put him out the bible sweet now nah. the bible has some stories like my mind-blowing story was the story when the gentleman cut his wife in 12 pieces but like what do you mean he cut in 12 pieces so let me not give you a portion of the of the story so for anybody who's watching this video who don't know let me actually give you the whole entire story they were traveling from her father's house back to where the gentleman lived and they stopped in benjamin i think don't quote me and if i'm wrong leave a comment and tell me so they stopped and some men came banging on the house and they were like sent out that man so we can have sexual intercourse with him and the father would have said i have some virgin daughters and they said they don't want the daughters he would have sent out his wife and the men in the city would have raped her and then the next morning when she got to the door she died so in order to show that he is upset he would have sent a message to all the other tribes of israel and he sent the message with one of her body parts so, so he caught here so this is a one two three four five six seven eight she head would be nine maybe split down here ten eleven but that's in the count me doesn't try to figure out how we cut up the body me as a child figure out he never had a type he never had a machine for photocopy the letter so you sit down and write out the letter 10 to 12 times when the messenger they carry the body the body never they rotten me, me as a child figure out where they go on with that story so there's that story there's a story of i don't know if it's elisha or elijah when he sent down and he threw water over the altar and then he threw water over the altar and before that he was telling the priests who worship Baba Baal again I know the story I don't know all the details but I know the story he was laughing at them saying is your God sleeping and then he threw all the water and then you know the water fire came down he did that miracle and then one woman come and tell you one woman come and tell you she could kill you and you run throw with the whole story can't be the same man can't be he can't be the same man as somebody else and then good morning i'm good then there's also a story about samson 
Samson, you ridiculous. This woman here, she buying your hand and come and say, the Philistines are coming. She, she, she do all kind of stubborn. No partner put your brain in click and say, this woman here bad for you. No partner put your brain, no partner say like, money need this woman here got. She crosses. She crosses. She can't even get me killed. No partner put your brain in click. No, no, no. Okay. 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 And this year in <laughs> by the way, this graphic way of talking about the Bible is all Alicia. I love that girl for that. Like she talks about the Bible and talks about it like real life. So you're like, you really never have no comments, eh? You never did think about this year. Uh, so I have that now. But again, that is how it should be. You should put yourself in the shoes of the characters of the Bible because they're not just characters, they're people. These stories actually happen, they're real. And then there's several stories. So I've also learned again with reading the Bible. When you read something this year and you read it next year, it's gonna get you different. Last year when I was reading the Bible, my favorite character was Joseph. You know the story of Joseph again. If you don't know the story, long story short, his brothers sold him into slavery. He ended up becoming a slave, moved from being a slave to being the highest rank in Egypt. He saved his family during the famine and it just shows people will bad mind you, people will do all kind of things to you, but whatever, whatever is for you, is for you. God got you. They can do whatever they want, but God got you. So he was my character last year. Remember tell you last year when you're fired? What is for you, is for you. And let me tell you all, in this year, we went back to court. Well, it wasn't court court. It was, well, it was, it was Labor Commission court. And when the Labor Commissioner said, according to the laws of Antigua and Barbuda, you would have to pay the severance of the employer at the highest rate ever. I said, yes, that's what I went for me. When the man asked, so when did she stop working? And the them say she never stopped working. She asked to be removed from a supervisor to a line staff and the letter was penned. And there were three other employees who did that. Why was she fired? Must say, oh, how are next week? Then when they say they're only gonna pay me 1375, and the man say, but you how one letter say gonna pay you 1750. Why are you going back to the to the 1375? And the liar, by the way, she couldn't say nothing because then liar and then dangerous. So they couldn't give the, give the woman the whole story. The woman couldn't answer no question. By the way, the day of me recording this video, I do not have a termination letter. I don't have a termination letter. The people that do don't want. And this is why I'm a disability advocate because people need to know you can't do nigga tripping But I will say to you, I can sit here and speak about this proudly now, but it wasn't proud last year. I bawled my eyes out. I went into depression. The doctor had to put me on leave. So let us just not even talk about like, you know. But the point of all of that is the story was Joseph. You go through the struggles. You're gonna learn certain things. And what is for you is going to be for you. You are going to rise. That was my, that was my character last year. This year, while Joseph is still on the rank of, you know, I love that story. My story this year is Saul. This king, all the riches, all the glory, and you still end up with a steep downfall. You know why? People at the top sometimes forget. They climbed their way to the top, and there were people there climbing with them. And also Saul's story of jealousy. David, they do the man nothing. Ah, David, go ah, David. David and Goliath, Daniel, and I get the story. David and Goliath, Daniel and the lion's death. Is it Daniel and Goliath? Daniel and the... Hello. Let me tell y'all, if I mix up the name, correct me in the comments. The man go with his little slingshot, he kill the giant, and... But tell her the Bible sweet now. The people in the, in the village probably call Saul to get jealous now. While Saul has killed his thousand, they... David has killed his 10,000. Lord Jesus, he man hit the man. And if you read the story, he did him nothing. However, he was so jealous, he eventually went, I'm gonna kill him. And he eventually just went like on a downward spiral. And he's my character for this year. 
a lot of people and a lot of situations have learned you can the top down now but you're gonna get one fall now and you're not gonna get a fall because you didn't do good things not because you're not a good person but because of that ego because of that ego that you've developed as you grow you develop that ego and also because of jealousy nobody's in any competition with anybody we're all just here trying to survive but long and short is the bible sweet the story that makes sense and again this is probably why i like elevation church and i like you know transformation church because just like how i'm telling you the story they transform it so that you as a regular joke can understand oh my god really see samson you never had no common sense you, you never had no common sense moses is also a big character in the bible that i love when moses tell the people tell god am i their father did i give birth to them and that shows so much emotion so much running by the way if i'm reading the bible and anybody tells me that me over emotional me gonna start to quote scripture to you jesus wept god got angry moses got angry oh lord and the oh no there was a prophet he got he got he was sad when uh, the people of israel sinned against sinned against the lord the bible having all the emotions that I have. So I'm gonna start to write good point. I'm gonna write them down. So when people start to say, oh you're too dramatic, you cry too much. My sister said that to me, I'm gonna respond to she if Jesus can cry, who, who is he? Jesus crying knowing that he can raise the man from the dead. He now need for crying. Cause he will know he can raise the man from the dead. So if Jesus will know that, who is me? Because I know that things are gonna work out. I know that God has a plan for me. I know that it is all going to be well. However, I tell you to cry because I feel sad at that point. And I can relate that to Jesus. Well, I think of Jesus and he goes to raise Lazarus from the dead. Guys, you watch the video where I was talking about song. There's also this song about Lazarus. Oh Lord. I love it. I love it. Again, from the Daily Audio Bible, at the end of that story, they now listen to the song. But, the Bible sweet. Bible study is necessary because reading the stories alone there's a lot to interpret and understand and it's a journey I can see why people read the Bible every year because if you don't read it every year things are gonna pass you and then there's some stories that you need to take time with and I also see why people journal because you need to write out certain information like last year I memorized this this verse because I felt oh Lord Oh. Do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here. For it was to save lives God sent me ahead of you. Joseph said that to his brothers. And I memorized that scripture because that means so much to me. You see, when them people fire me, God send you for God to make you fire. Because we in the world, me need to get fired. Me need to get not go to the process. But you will really think that you did the trouble. But God will really have a bigger plan. And Joseph said to his brothers, you sold me, but God sent me. And that's how I feel about being fired. You fired me, but God had it in his plan, in his way. That you know now, I'm going to be talking on a camera. <laughs> talking about how the Bible sees. Talking on a camera, going to different churches, listening to gospel music. There's a plan. There's a plan. So... Joseph said to his brothers, do not be angry with yourself. And I would say to my employers, do not be angry with yourself for firing me. Because it was to save life, God sent me ahead of you. And it's like, God sent me. God put that in the way to stop certain things so that I can become the person that I am today. Shout out to these people. I will till the go quote the fight because I have sick my thumb up. And again, it's me to let home my cuss out people. I'm really not because that outfit does a bad one. Y'all would have caused several things in my life to go haywire. But God is awesome. God got me. There's a plan. And I'm encouraging anybody. Use the daily audio Bible app. Read the Bible with me. You should do Bible study. Where you comment and I comment and say, This is sweet boy. And you see Proverbs. Oh Lord. The only reason why I'm a fear of doing chronological next day is because with the proverbs like every day get one like a snippet and you're like proverbs make sense and proverbs does drop one you know a man who finds a man oh lord there's so many proverbs 
like a man whose wife is nagging and they talk about wisdom and there's so many proverbs but you see what's happening how i'm reading it now you're only getting a little bit of it so when he knocked it, it didn't make sense, it make sense you know but i feel like reading it all at once i'm not gonna get it but we'll see how it works we'll see how it works i'm really i really want to be chronological i did the two new testament and old testament i did that last year i'm doing that this year i want to do chronological next year and let's see how that works out guys but Keep locked for the next episode of Spiritual Warfare.